نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزير من اهلي اللهم فكهنا في الدين امين ثم امين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سورة النصر إذا when this is a time adverb and إذا means when جاء this is a verb it is a past perfect verb meaning comes and it is a verb for the third person masculine singular إذا جاء when comes Nasrullahi. Noon swadra means help and assistance. Nasrullah, the help of Allah. Wal fatr. Wal zabarwa. This is a prefixed conjunction and it means and al fatr. Fataha means the victory, success. Wal fatr. And the victory. It is not any victory because there is alif lam before fat. So it means it is the victory. So the words would mean is aja nasrullahi wal fat. When comes the help of Allah and the victory, then you need to do what? Wa ra'ayta. Wa and ra'ayta. Ra Hamza Ya. This means to see. And Tazaburta signifies that this uh, activity or seeing is being done by the second person masculine singular. And it is a past perfect verb. Wara'aita and you see. Anasa, the people. Yadhuluna. The root word for this is dal ho lam. The hola means to enter. Ya signifies that it is an imperfect word and uh, it is for the third person masculine. And the wow noon indicates that the verb or the activity is being carried on by plural. They are entering fi. This is a preposition meaning into dinillahi, the religion of Allah. And how are they entering the religion of Allah? Afajan, in groups, in multitudes. So now repeating the translation of the verse, Wara'ayta nasa, and you see the people, yadkhuluna, they enter fi dinillahi, into the religion of Allah in multitudes. Then you do what? Fasabbih. Fasabur fa is uh, it is uh, it is a prefixed participle uh, particle, and it means basically it means then or thus. Sabbah. This means to glorify, to praise, or to exalt. Sabbah is what? It is, uh, it is an ordering verb for the second person masculine, singular. And it orders and says, then glorify, then praise, or then exalt. Bihamdi wabika. Bazir B is again, uh, it is a preposition meaning with. And hamd means praise, rub means the sustainer of the Lord. Kafzabarka is a pronoun for the second person masculine singular. Rabbika, your Lord, your sustainer. Was tarfir hu. Wa is a conjunction meaning and 
istaghfir. Ayn fa ra. Ghafara means forgiveness, repentance. And when in a verb there is seen and ta before the verb, it implies that the thing or the activity is being asked and is being requested. So seen and ta signifies request and asking. Was taghfir and ask for forgiveness or seek forgiveness. From whom? Hapish who? His. Was taghfir who means and seek his forgiveness. Why? Inna who? Inna means indeed who he. Kana he is. Tawaba. Tawaba means the one who accepts forgiveness or who grants repentance. So the translation of this verse if i repeat again allah says fasabbih then glorify bihamdi wabbika with the praise of your lord wastaghfirhu and ask or seek his forgiveness innahu indeed he kana is the waba is the one who accepts or grants forgiveness now let me repeat the translation of all the verses all over again. Allah says, Iza when Jaa comes, Nasrullahi, the help of Allah, Wal Fat, and the victory, Waraita, and you see Anasa, the people, Yadhuluna, they are entering fi into Dinilahi, the religion of Allah, Afajan, in groups, in multitudes. Then do what? Fasabbih. Then glorify, praise, or exalt, Bihamdi Wabbika, with the praises of your sustainer, of your Lord, Wastaghfirhu, and ask or seek his forgiveness. Innahu, indeed he, Kana, he is the Waba, the one who accepts forgiveness or the one who grants repentance. Rabbana la tuzi' hulubana ba'da is khadaytana wa hablana milatunka rahma innaka antul wahab. Ameen sumameen.